Hi, I'm Dion Leffler with Wichita Eagle and Kansas.com, and today we are going to explain the difference between 3-2 beer, which is what you used to buy at the grocery store and convenience stores, and strong beer. Now, you've probably seen the signs all over Wichita saying, you know, we now have strong beer out in front of your local convenience store or your uh, grocery store. Well, let's, uh, let's compare the two. This is the 3-2 beer. This is uh, the weak beer that we've always had, uh, back, going back to the 1930s, actually. Now, when you look at this beer, if you look at the top of the can, what you'll see is it says, alcohol content no more than 3.2% by weight. Now, remember, that's by weight, so that's going to be important later. Now, if you look at this beer, it says 4.2% alcohol by volume. So, what does that mean? Well, alcohol is lighter than water. So, a 3.2 beer by weight is actually 4% alcohol by volume. So, to get an apples to apples comparison here, we, we need to take the alcohol by volume and the alcohol by volume. So, this beer is 4.0% alcohol by volume. This beer is 4.2% by volume. So, what that means is there's maybe a drop more alcohol in, that, in this beer than this one. And, uh, but when you look at the uh, price, well, this I bought for $5.99. This was $7.99. Now, you might say, okay, well, you know, but there's other beers that, you know, the, the, what, what about the full strength beer? Well, we got here, this is a Budweiser. This is the full strength Budweiser, the regular, uh, regular Budweiser, strong beer, uh, that's 5% alcohol. So you got 4% here, 4.2% here, 5% here. It's not that big a difference. You're not going to get that much more of a buzz out of this beer than this beer, and you're not going to get any more of a buzz out of this beer over this beer. They just cost more. 